It is called Patches and Stitches. It's a perfect event, especially if you're hoping to rock maybe a jean jacket this weekend. Oh, wow. Maybe even show off your wild side. It totally describes my weekend. Allie Lucia has something that might lead to the perfect 4th of July adventure. Hey, Allie. Hey, Jamie. Uh, Jason, you're telling me you're not going for a motorcycle ride this weekend? Is that what you're saying? Are you offering to take me out on your hog, Allie? <laughs> Well, I am a big fan of the Crossbones Harley, but we'll save that Ooh. for another day. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who are headed out on the open road this weekend, we have some artwork that may be just for you. We are at Light Gray Art Lab, and the exhibit going on display starting Friday is called Patches and Stitches, and we are in the Patches display of the exhibit, and I'm joined by Lindsay Knoll, the founder of this art lab. And Lindsay, you even have some patches on display this morning. I do, and so... Um, what we are is a collaborative art gallery. We've been around for about three and a half years. And this show is really fun because it's sort of the juxtaposition between the raw and gritty side, which is the patches side that you see behind us, and then also the stitches side, which is all the refined sort of small needlework and things like that. So my patches um, are uh, paying homage to things that I really love. So. I have a patch over there that says Cat Wizard, which tells you a lot about my personality. So it's a lot of fun, silly stuff, but it's also some fun, like more gritty, serious, kind of edgy stuff as well. There are over 70 artists on display starting on Friday, but this isn't just art that can be displayed on the wall, it's art that can be displayed on jackets. Yes, it is. And so um, with part of the Patches show is about people being able to resonate with certain icons. And if you like it, you're able to take it home. It's accessible. It's something you can put on your messenger bag or the back of your leather jacket. Any of that stuff is really what we're trying to do with the show. Well, Lindsay, thanks for joining us this morning. Jenny Bookler is the gallery manager here, and you're going to talk more about the stitches side of uh, things. But how intricate are these pieces of artwork when it comes to stitches and the textile form? So this show really does celebrate all forms and techniques of the medium. And the show crosses over a lot of the same materials that are in the patches side, but it is all about the techniques. It's about the process and slow laboring over the imagery. Um, so there's lots of, like, uh, French knots, lots of like little tiny details that go into the imagery that make it really beautiful and unique. Well, Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And Jenny, thank you for joining yes, us no this problem. morning. Uh, so this gallery opens up on July 3rd. So if you're looking maybe to hit the open road and you want something to show off, this is the perfect place for you. Yeah, Allie, I've been out there and I really, really enjoy uh, spending time. It's in a cute little neighborhood over there, too, kind of tucked over. So check it out if you haven't before. Appreciate your reporting on it. It's one of those little small places kind yeah. of in South Minneapolis that you normally wouldn't maybe check out. So you Looks drive cool. by and see it but not know what's in yeah. there. Yeah, cool. It's called Patches and Stitches, and we're not talking about boxing. No, not that kind of <laughs> stitches. It is a great event if you're looking to rock a jean jacket this weekend. And I know what you're thinking. Thank God someone's going to tell me what to do to help me rock that jean jacket this weekend, Allie Lucia. Jason, you'd look great in a jean jacket. So would Katy Perry, too. We had Eye of a Tiger playing. I think she'd like this tiger. This is just some of the art that will be on display here at Light Gray Art Lab in Minneapolis. And I'm joined by the founder of Light Gray Art Lab, Lindsay Knoll. And Lindsay, Patches and Stitches, how did you guys come up with the idea for this exhibit starting on Friday? Well, we had kind of the two sides of textiles that we wanted to display. One of them is sort of raw and gritty, and the other one is a little bit more refined. And so we wanted to show the juxtaposition between like two very different historically different concepts but kind of show the similarities too between the kinds of things that the artists make your art will also be on display but how challenging is this type of medium for an artist like yourself or the other artists that are being showcased it's interesting because some of the artists have actually done this for a very long time and you can sort of see the different techniques in their work some of the other artists have only done 2d things and so this will be their first exploration in it and I think they've done a great job well, Lindsay, thanks for joining us. Tegan White is the featured artist uh, here, and you will be speaking on opening night, July 3rd, which is Friday. Uh, but Tegan, you're also an illustrator. You work for a lot of different corporate companies here. What did you enjoy about this type of medium? Um, I think it was an opportunity to, to do something uh, that was a little bit more hands-on, a little bit uh, more community-oriented. Um, uh, it's making art that's very affordable, um, very uh, accessible to people. Um, you know, the idea of patches kind of comes from the, the punk scene, the DIY scene. 
So making something that people can actually wear on their bodies versus something a little bit more corporate that I might usually do was really great. You chose the patchwork rather than the stitch work. Tell us about the idea behind your piece that's being shown here this weekend. Sure, I have three different pieces. Um, all three of them are animal pieces. I have a bird, a bat, and uh, a bee. Um, and uh, my work is always nature focused, but I also try to incorporate like some sort of like occult symbolism and stuff like that into the work. Um, kind of thinking about um, the people who might be interested in like astrology or tarot reading as uh, kind of the people who might be interested in buying these. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Tegan. And Tegan also is a children's illustrator, so she really does a wide variety of work. So once again, this exhibit opens up on Friday, July 3rd and runs for a couple weeks here in Minneapolis. Pretty cool, Ellie. Have you picked out your patch? I have. Uh, it's, it's on the other side of the room, so we can't show it to you. Right. But I do like rocking the jean jacket every now and then. Sure. Very on trend. <laughs> Allie, thank you. Looks like a lot of fun. Got a, a different kind of art exhibit. I like it. Oh, absolutely. I think the patchwork where you, I, like, mid-90s, that's all you did was get, like, buttons mm -hmm. and patches and all Those pins kinds. with the beads on yes. it? Is that, is that coming back? Roll your jeans like and then back. just hit the town. Mm -hmm.